Hello everyone, welcome back. On the last two videos, we've been showing you the different approaches on filtering uh, on the map by activity. In this video, uh, we'll be uh, talking about the added benefit of using GeoPoint check-ins to track movement on accounts. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to show you the check-in action uh, from a subordinate's point of view. Uh, so this might be like a sales rep or a service rep out in the field. Okay, so um, let me just run through a quick scenario. So, okay, so I'm a sales rep and I just arrived to one of my accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that route stop. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, check in. I can also check in uh, from my route list. Uh, so let's go ahead and check in. Um, as you can see, I can add notes. I can share on feed. So let me go ahead and check in. All right, so let's go ahead and check out. And we'll just run through the same flow. And again, all this is being saved to the same check-in record. Um, so that both check and check out are saved into one record. Okay, so let's go ahead and view a report. Uh, this report type is giving us fields from both accounts and check-ins. The who field is telling us who checked into the account. The Y text are showing us notes made uh, on the check-in checkout. The when field is showing us you know, when the record was checked into. Uh, distance from what ID tells us how far the sales reps were from the actual record they're checking into. So right off the bat, you can see there's some um, issues here with um, some of the check-ins made by Rudy Ornelas. All right, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.